Jesus said, you've taken the house of prayer and turned it into a den of thieves. You've been dishonest in your practices and they were stealing from folks. They had money changers. They were uh, usurping uh, the, uh, the, the fee that they charge, stealing from people, just jacking things up, inflating it. The same meek Jesus who had just ridden in on a donkey now is in the temple and he sees something that is not right and righteous indignation rises up in him and this is not the time to just be identified as Mary's baby. This is time now to be the lion of the tribe of Judah and he begins to roar to say listen there is something here that needs to be corrected and I am not going to whisper about it. I'm not just going to walk out of here and say, oh, you know, that was a real shame in there. Them people in there selling their prices are so high. No, no, you know, Jesus didn't just talk about it. Jesus, like a roaring lion, like a bull in a china shop, was turned loose and he overturned some stuff. He overturned some stuff. He upset some stuff. It takes the boldness of a lion to do that. It takes the boldness of a lion. So Jesus had to put on that, that lion face to really become everything that he needed to become in that moment. He had to really become that lion. Now, I, I want to show you something here where you will have to put on the face of a lion. Look in your Bibles over at 2 Corinthians chap chapter 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 7. This is the relevance to you. You see, don't just have just one face. There are certain things in your life that need a confrontation. Truth is confrontational. So when people have been lying to you, what you need is a confrontation with truth. And truth brings the conviction necessary for change. Let me say that again. Truth brings the conviction necessary for change. But it takes boldness to speak truth to power. It takes boldness when something is wrong for you to speak truth, for you to wait for the appropriate time and then have that thing when it has boiled over in you to become that lion and roar the truth of the living God. Not to injure people, not to destroy people, but to correct the wrong. It is about correction. Righteous indignation is about correction. It is about Correction. It's not about expressing your anger and destroying people and doing all of that. It is about correction. It is about restoring something to its original purpose. And listen, this is supposed to be a house of prayer for all nations and you've turned it into a den of thieves. You are doing dishonest practices in the house of God, in the courts of our Lord. And it ought to be, you ought to be fair with people. You ought to be honest with people. And Jesus had a problem with it. And the lion in him became agitated and had to roar. I believe that the world would respect us more if they would stop seeing us lay down and take everything. They need to see that we have the boldness of a lion in us.